Hi everyone, it's Raven. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on a new drugstore product that's been getting a lot of attention from uh, reviewers as well as um, just from what I've heard by word of mouth from friends and family. Um, so we're going to be reviewing the new Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. So it's this guy right here. As you can say, see right now I just have my eyes done, my eyebrows, and then I don't have any complexion except for a little bit of concealer under the eyes. Um, and I'm going to be applying this foundation and see if it holds up to what it says that it does. So this foundation claims to be a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear. Now that's a pretty bold claim for a drugstore foundation. Um, I'm definitely not gonna wear it for 24 hours, but I will wear it for, you know, a good six to eight hours and see if it holds up throughout the day. Um, it's a seamless matte finish, so as a drier skin type, I am going to prime it to make sure that it doesn't get dry on me through the day. Um, oil free, doesn't clog pores, and fade and transfer resistant. So I'm interested to see how that's going to uh, work out. So we're going to apply some of the foundation. I've already tried it, <laughs> um, but I'm just doing a review for you guys just so you can actually see what I saw when I wore the foundation. So I'm just going to use a couple pumps of this foundation. I'm using the uh, 220 Natural Beige. And then I'm going to be using the mini airbrush from Sephora. Um, this one is the Pro Mini Airbrush 55.5. So it's one of my favorite foundation brushes. So we're going to do, I'm just going to do a quick prime. I'm using my all time favorite, the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. I'm just going to go over the nose and forehead areas before I go in with the foundation. So, let's, so uh, since I have tried this foundation, I will say the color is a little bit dark for me. Um, I would probably go with the next shade down, but with drugstore foundation, it can be tricky to get your perfect shade sometimes. So I will keep this color. Um, I'll just probably wear it more when I'm more tan than I am right now. careful so that I don't mess up my eyeliner. So yeah, it goes on pretty smooth. The dry down isn't super quick, which is surprising. Um, I figured a non-transfer foundation would have a quicker dry down time, but this one really doesn't. Now I'm a full coverage girl, so I've used a few pumps of this foundation. Um, I wouldn't say you would need to if you're looking for more of a medium coverage. You could probably use one pump and it would be enough, but I've used two in a bit. I like it to be really, really flawless. So overall, it's quite nice. It goes on really nice and seamless. You can see a little bit of texture in my skin, but not too, too much, which is nice. Yeah, too bad. So I'm going to apply the rest of my face makeup. Um, I'm going to be putting on a pressed powder, a bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. And then um, I will kind of show you guys how it sets with all of that. And then we're going to wear it for six to eight hours. We'll see kind of when it's, I start to notice a change in the foundation. All right, so I just finished the rest of my face makeup. So I have on the powder, the bronzer, highlight, and blush. And we're just gonna see how it wears on my skin throughout the day. So far, so good. I do have a little bit of texture, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you this. Um, so I applied the foundation from the back of my hand. And as you can see, I scrubbed it with hand soap and a face cloth and the foundation is still on my hand. So I mean, if this is that resistant to my hand skin, then it should last all day on my face, don't you think? Up close here you can kind of see where it's like a little splotchy and the color difference there, but like I really scrubbed at this you guys, so I'm pretty impressed at the last ability just on my hands, so 
Hey guys, so I've been wearing the Maybelline Superstay foundation for about just over six hours right now and honestly you can kind of see already there isn't a lot of change in the foundation. Um, I don't have any cracks in my skin. Um, I am missing a little over on my nose where I'm kind of battling a cold right now. Um, but other than that, there's just a little bit of texture in the forehead and underneath the eyes. Um, that's usually normal for me. I do have a dry skin type, so those tend to be the first areas to crack. Um, but as for non-transferable, I mean, it hasn't come off my skin at all. Um, and I've eat supper and been about, and it hasn't separated or moved around, and it hasn't oxidized too much. Um, there's a little bit of color difference between my neck and my chin, but not enough to make a huge difference so that's really impressive to me I'm you know I gotta say for a foundation that I paid $12 for on sale I can't say anything bad about it so um, I think the Maybelline 24 hour foundation it would be a recommended foundation from me um, I would buy it again for sure I mean the amount of coverage is good and for the price point um, if you're looking for full coverage and something to last a bit longer absolutely um, my only tip would be if you have a drier skin type I would recommend getting a more hydrating primer um, I'm just using kind of a a basic lightweight primer and I think if I use something a little bit more viscous or hydrating it would be it would have been a better result but um, Overall, I'm very satisfied with it, and I would definitely, I would definitely recommend it. So that's it for my review on the Maybelline 24-Hour Foundation. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave some comments down below on how you feel about the video, um, what upcoming videos you'd like to see me do. Um, I'm really looking to do some more new product reviews, so if you have any new products that you're interested in learning about that you want me to try, please let me know. And um, again, thanks for watching.